Claudia Martinez is a young uh, woman from Guatemala. She works uh, in a pickle processing plant in Pittsburgh. And she's a temporary worker. And for most of the day, she does this. Can any of you guess what someone who does this on a pickle plant's assembly line is doing? Yeah? She's, she's a brine displacer. She removes a certain amount of brine from the jars so that they can screw the cap on and move it on its way. Sounds pretty bad or pretty, pretty unpleasant type of job. Well, it gets worse. Claudia works Monday through Friday, usually 40 hours a week. And she doesn't get paid till the following Thursday. That following Thursday, she gets a paper check. And after work, she drives down to a check cashing place and she pays a fee. It takes her about a half an hour to get fiat currency. And then she drives again to go to a wire service place, something like Western Union, to send some of that money back home to her mom and three sisters in Guatemala. Again, more time, more fees, usually $10 to say send $100 back home. Pretty bad, right? Right? <laughs> the fiat system gets worse than that, though, because Claudia has waited so much time. Unfortunately, she's organized. She doesn't have to resort to this, but there are 10 to 25 million temporary workers living similarly in the United States alone, and many of them can't wait to get that money. They can't wait all that time, so they take recourse to something called a payday loan. Have any of you familiar with payday loan? Yeah? We probably know it's a very expensive, unpleasant thing because a lot of time these people never get out of the hole. They're constantly paying more and more interest. It's a real sad situation. The current fiat system, Jamie Dimon and his band of crypto capitalists and their fiat system is screwing these workers and we need to fix it in crypto. Thank you. So, a little bit about me. I'm Greg Deguerian. I'm a founder of TempWorks Software. It's a software system that my dad and I wrote in the early 70s and have been evolving from the early microcomputers and now my oldest children run the company. Uh, we're based in Minneapolis. But it's very simple on a mature payroll system to simply add an adjustment that would go to a crypto pay card. Of course, we have a number of challenges in this system right now. Uh, first of all, these pay cards aren't universally available. We need them to work not just in London or New York, but also in a remote village in Guatemala. Uh, we're talking about tens of millions of transactions a day that we would need to be able to process for people to really take advantage of. So I have a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of challenges ahead of us. By the way, can you get a show of hands? How many people have worked a temporary job in their life? Wow, well, it's almost everyone. I was thinking, okay, these people only work per hour coding something, but uh, so you, you know what a tough job is like. Sometimes I feel my toughest job ever was to get Python Ethereum to work on my Macintosh. Uh, so anyway, uh, TempWorks, we've developed two different products on the Ethereum platform. One is, uh, if you're familiar with DocuSign or HelloSign, it basically allows you to create a contract, uh, have different parties sign it, post it to the blockchain. Uh, we, I put a note up on the Ethereum Reddit about that if you want to check it out. Uh, the other is this crypto payroll system. And basically, it's, it's wired together right now. Um, I got into this in 2015 because I was employing a large number of uh, Filipino, uh, Filipino virtual assistants who were setting up sales appointments. And, and every Friday, it was me who was going to Coinbase and paying $50, $100, $75. And these people were perfectly happy to accept crypto. Uh, you want Coinbase users here? How, how many like the interface? Yeah. No, no hands that I see. It's pretty hard to do that uh, using most, uh, most client software for sending crypto. So the idea here would simply be that our, our system as it evolves will simply be 
uh, paycheck just like any other paycheck with an adjustment that instead of going to your retirement account would also go to your crypto account. It's something that we need to do. We need to do this for humanity. We need to do it for all these temporary workers. We need to make it so that we're living in a world where instead of Claudia spending all of her extra money and time driving around dealing with the fiat system, instead she's studying Python and Ethereum and it's gonna develop the next generation of our crypto solutions. I'd like to thank the Ethereum Foundation, uh, the Mexican government, all these wonderful workers who've made the conference so nice. I'm just blown away by the quality of the other presentations. I feel real honored to be up here. But uh, I think, uh, I think I'm, I'm really eager to hear from any of you who can help me advance this solution and make it become a reality faster. Thank you very much.